All right, so where's my other dude? There's my X-Wing Red Leader. Let's switch to him. And I'm going to have X-Wing Red 2 standing by go down and protect our miners, and we're kind of moving those closer and closer to the center of the galaxy, basically. I could have him tell these guys to start another one. I don't think I want to do that yet. Okay, and he's got a decent hyperdrive, so that's pretty good. Head down to... Where are my miners? Here they are, right? There. Patrol. Cool. So he'll be protecting the miners. Once the miners are get done, they'll go down here. We have... We are, we are really making some resources. I love this whole getting free stuff. Ship does not have a captain. What? I thought I got a free captain from that ship I made. Hold on a second. Why does it say I don't have a captain? Does this ship not have a captain? Ship has no captain. Can I look at my fleet to see if my ship does have a captain? Uh, Oh, it shows what's in their cargo. That's kind of cool. I guess I can't see their crew. Is there a way to tell? I have a reconstruction token. Finding ore, salvaging, patrolling, mining, idle. So X-Wing Red 2 is saying it's idle because apparently I don't have a captain. I thought you automatically got a captain. All right, apparently I have to... Apparently, I do have to manually get one. I thought I thought it gave you a captain. Where's DJ? DJ was the one who told me about the way you get free captains is you construct a ship and get rid of it or something. So you don't have any captains, right? No, I would have bought one. Um, trading thing, repair dock. Fighter factory. I know there are captains up here, and I think I actually have more captains with my guy that's down here if I need to. So let's actually go see if I can find a captain real fast. Has an option when you make it to start with crew. Oh, I didn't click that option, probably. Frickin' hell. All right. Well, you know what? I probably am going to want to make one extra one anyway, so I'm going to actually have it start because it takes five minutes for it to make anyway. So I'm going to tell it to build one more of these guys. And this time tell it to start with frickin' crew. I wonder if it starts you with the gunners you need and everything too. Probably not. Build ship. Crew plus captain. There it is. I did add crew, but I didn't do crew plus captain. Single block. Okay. Okay, there we go. Crew plus captain. Okay. Slightly more expensive, but definitely work, worth. There should be captains in the shipyard. There aren't any at this... Sh not this sh shipyard, anyway. And this is going to be the... X Wing Red 3. We haven't got Red 5 for Luke yet. Trinium? It was requiring me to have Trinium to do another ship? Oh man, they're limiting my ships I can get, huh? I guess each ship you add is like you need to find the next resource, so you just can't make a giant fleet. Okay. So I don't actually have I don't I can't actually do another ship, damn. Or at least I can't build one there. Can I found one? Well, that makes me wonder if I can found one with a drone or not. No, I can't. So I'd have to I'd have to get rid of one of my ships. All right. I might actually get rid of one of my um, scavengers then is probably what I'll do. I'll probably get rid of one of my scavengers eventually. But let's focus now. Right now I just need to get a captain for this ship. Red 3 was Biggs. 
poor bigs. That's fine. I have like I have two mining ships and two three scavengers, I think. And I don't one of my scavengers is like like really far behind, so probably it'd be worth getting rid of one one of my scavengers. One of them's way up at the edge of the galaxy. Um harvesting all the project Exodus people. So, um, well, not people, ships. So, um, when he's done, if I can get him to sell his stuff, then I might just get rid of him because he's so far away. 148, 261. Where is that? This guy, okay. Uh, oh, oh, you're done, okay. Salvage and mining. Okay, so let's send Rand Mark One there. Shift Patrol. Uh, hello. Uh, patrol sector and loop it. And Scrappy Doodle. There. Salvage. Loop. Okay. All right. Uh, are there any captains here? Hire crew. Sergeants. Uh, -do -do -do. Oh, lag. Huh. It's actually kind of the first time I've had lag like that. Trading post. You have a captain. You have two captains. Beautiful. Let's go buy both of them. Oh man, you're you're just as fast as Red Leader. I'm on the leader. District of Hell One. What the hell is that? The name of this sector? What a weird name for a sector. I'm actually curious how this guy's doing up here. You're still doing your thing. Still salvaging. It's the guy I added a whole bunch of extra uh, cargo space to because he's just gonna have a crap ton of stuff and. His cargo. I'm wondering how much stuff we're going to get if I'm actually able to sell all of the stuff that he gets. I'm going to have to figure out. Probably what I'll do is I'll take a hyperdrive off of one of my really good ships and give him the best hyperdrive just to get him home to sell stuff. Okay. Okay, give me both captains. There we go. Now I can give this guy orders. So, red leader, swapping to you. Wait, no, I have to sign them. I signed them, don't I? Oh, no, it did. It automatically signed them. Okay, good. Okay. So I have an extra captain there if I need to give that captain to somebody else. Biggs and Wedge are hanging there together until Biggs gets his own ship, basically. All right, Red Leader. And then we're going to go back to our scavenger hunt of trying to find these materials. Probably want to name it Hell Zero, but then everyone thought they greeted them. <laughs> Hel hello? Are you talking to me? Okay, so you're going to go here, 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 patrol and protect our miners. You'll eventually move further in. The mining's probably going to just take forever to actually ever get done. So, all right. So, what am I looking for? I need. I only got the accelerators. So I need fusion generators, energy inverters, trans transformators, and semiconductors and processors. And I think I checked this. That there's not, none of those here. Nope. Okay. So back to exploring for trade goods. Don't know if I checked here yet. I do want to make one more ship today, though, so I probably will get rid of one of my scavengers. I think I have one scavenger that's just. Let me actually see. Let me look at my fleet. Yeah. This one right here. 
has just so much random stuff. Um, energy inverters. Wait a second. Ha! Huh, he has what I need. This guy actually has some of the things I need. Conductors. And Randmark 1 has conductors. Okay, I actually have some of this stuff on other ships. Just from all their looting. Scrappy Doo's got scrap titaniums. 21,000 scrap nanite. Yeah. This guy's got a lot of stuff. And random meat. Okay, I need to get these conductors. Well, I just need to remember Rand Mark 1 has conductors, so I don't need the conductors. Scrappy Doo Mark 2's got my energy inverters. Where are you? He's the guy that's like trying to get down here, right? Where is he? Oh, it's this guy. So I could actually get Rand Mark 1. You're headed that way. So I could I could transfer that stuff over. Where where's my other? So this is Scrappy Doo Mark 1. What does he have? That is so cool. You can actually see what's in the inventory of your different ships. That's really cool. Scrappy Doo Mark 1. Tools, platinum, coal. Wow, nanobots, laser head. Got a lot of random stuff. Okay, all right. Um, so what other stuff do I need? And what's in this sector? All right, they have energy inverters, but I have those. Neutron accelerators. All right, so energy. Energy inverters, I need five, but again, scrappy. Do Mark II's got eight. Okay. Okay. So none of the stuff I need here. Um, I should also just take other green sectors as I go back here. Random meat. Is that the one that was salvaging the station with the piece you found? You wouldn't trust that random meat? It's people. We have some random Soylent Green. <laughs> Soylent Green is delicious. I don't know why everybody talks crap about Soylent Green. It is the most delicious meat I've ever had. Just ask this wonderful guy I met named Hannibal Lecter. He loves it. It's his favorite food. All right, what's in this sector? Turret factory, oil refinery. What does an oil refinery even do? Chemical factory. Chemicals, adhesive, coolant, solvent, acid. Turret factory. Laser heads, servos. Tesla coils, pressure tubes. If I try to do build turrets, what can you make? He can make point defense, laser. He can make lasers here. So if I wanted to, I could try to make some upgraded lasers here. That might be interesting. Um... Although I think it's best to do that at like a laser turret factory. I think there's places that specialize. So I think the way you do this is you you just make a whole bunch of the highest quality laser you can, then you research them and combine them and then keep combining them kind of thing. I'm gonna have to look into do that another time. That's gonna probably be a lot of work to make all that happen. All right, so what do you have here? stuff. Ammunition S. Fusion generators. Do I need that? I need two fusion generators. Okay. It's the trading post. Um, Transformators, semiconductors. No semiconductors. No... Transformitators. Fusion generators. Okay, so let's get those fusion generators from the trading post. Which is, is this the place right in front of us? Nice. Okay. Is that laser is too fun. <laughs> uh, 
but fun for me is killing people. Okay, well then, set it to that setting and start doing that. There you go. You get along well with that Hannibal Lecter guy. Do you have any captains? No, okay. Trade goods. What did I say I needed? Fusion generators. Two. Five. Nice! The, uh, the better way to try each turret factory... In fact, the better way is to try each turret factory you can. Some got awesome RNG and some OP turrets you won't even get by upgrading tier, but that's total RNG. You try each factory... Do you try each turret type at each factory? Is that what you do? That seems like kind of crazy. I think I'm going to dedicate a stream to trying that out, because that sounds like a lot of work. Because I think what you have to do is you have to go... You have to buy a bunch of parts, or disassemble and get a bunch of parts, but I think it's... I don't think I want to scrap turrets. I want to just keep combining them to higher versions of them, right? And then build a bunch of the type that I want to get a higher version of and then research and combine them or whatever I think is what I want to do. But that's going to... I feel like that would be a whole stream of me trying to do that. Okay, what is our um, cargo looking like right now? Okay, still good. So we got the generators and the two accelerators. Generators and two accelerators. And I have the energy inverters. So I need transformatators, semiconductors, and processors. This is actually not taking that much time. That's kind of nice. Resource depot, trading post might have stuff. Let's go here. Let's check this, tr this trading post here. Distress call. Well, I don't have time. Too busy trading and buying stuff. The music's a little loud. I like the music, but okay. You're right. It would seem a little loud in my ears, too. Okay, what do we got here? Trading post, repair, bo repair dock, and resource depot. Force generators, no. Silicon spices, no. So we're looking for uh, none of that stuff. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Okay, this is the place we've been hanging out for a while. We might actually find a lot of the stuff we need here. Hopefully. Well, we only need three things. Semiconductors. Something else. You are currently the background music to me playing Minecraft. Very chill. Nice. <laughs> well, I gotta say. Put good music in a game, and apparently I will play the crap out of it. Well, give me a space game with some awesome music and I'll play the crap out of it for sure. Is drowning out my voice a bit. Is it still like that or is it better? I turned it down some. All right, let's see here. Any semiconductors, right? Energy inverters I have. Fusion generators I just got. Transformatators, here we go. Here's the transformator factory. Okay, I knew uh, that there was a transformator factory somewhere. Okay, where are you? You are this guy. A little better could be lower in your opinion. All right, I'll turn it down a little bit more. Go master. Just do the master volume down some there. Why you guys gotta fight all the time? Just be friends. Just be friends. You know what? Actually fight so I can take your stuff. It's cool. I totally won't choose sides. Even though I'm friends with these people. I don't want to lower my faction more by fighting them. Okay, so hopefully there are actually transformer transformatators I can buy here. It says it has 0.2. I don't know what that means. I need, how many of these do I need? Six. Six, buy. Nice, okay. I wasn't sure if I was just gonna be able to buy six or not. I guess the max is how many they have. I don't know what the volume number is on that. Okay, so all I need is six come, 
uh, semiconductors and two processors. That's all. Should be easy, right? Right? Probably not. All right, let's do this mission real quick. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a mission for something we need. Probably not. Probably pirates. Probably pirates. Oh, wait. Headhunters are coming at me? Oh, I can't leave because headhunters. Okay. Whoa, that nuclear torpedo was just blocked by that station. Nice. All right, well, I got to get rid of the guy who's jamming me. There's the blocker hunter. Due to turmoil, the sector's been called a hazard zone. Civilian ships will avoid this sector until it's been. Okay. Kill the blocker just in case we need to leave earlier, but I can kill. I can kill some headhunters. It's funny that the headhunters showed up the same time that they're, you know, actually attacking the sector. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Get blasted, though. You've chosen the wrong head to hunt, sirs. I'm actually... I don't know if it's because of the sound, but I'm actually liking the bolter weapons more and more. The more I use them, the more I like them. I'm actually liking the bolters just because I feel like I don't know if it's because of the sound, but they feel more visceral, like I'm getting more damage out of them. Okay, well, there's one more wreck with some loot. Oh, there's some loot over there. All of those dead enemies. But I still haven't gotten to railguns, so... I feel like I should hold off on choosing my favorite thing until I get to railguns. There's a search on top of the map. Just input processor to highlight sectors. That processor or whatever. Really? Well, that's... So much for a scavenger hunt. <laughs> I should be careful. Do I pick up all the scrap? I need to process it before I leave because I might use up my cargo space. But this is just free stuff, so I got it. You know, you got it. Can't pass up free stuff. Now we're getting lots of scrap stuff. Okay, um, before we leave, then let's actually um, let's refine this stuff. Where's the refinery? Let's repair. You are refinery right there. How convenient. The resource refinery thing right next to all this stuff I need to refine. Okay, let me dock with you, please. Well, I will have to use that search function. Function. Fine. All. Do it. Take it. Okay. So I'm looking for processors. So search. I, I did not even see that there. Processor. How does it work? Do I need to hit enter? What's this blue? That's the distress signal. That's where I'm going. Um, I'm not quite sure how that works, a weak man. You have to give me a little more information how to use that. Let me go do this distress signal, and then uh, maybe you can tell me how to actually use that. It highlights the sectors that have a whatever that type of thing is thing. Okay. Okay. Well, we are actually protecting people, so that's cool. It's not a tarp. Yeah, except for those people we're saving. It was a tarp for them. We shall save you as long as you pay me. If I were you, I'd explore the green dots near your zone. Okay, that's that's kind of what I've been doing. Because I might just not have revealed one that has what we need or something. 
It's the semi semiconductors and processors that we need. I think those are the only things we're missing. Oh. Ooh, that's a red thing. Give me, give me that. Salesman trading system. Does that mean I can sell stuff to other people? I think that's the first time I've seen that. Alright, save these people. Stop attacking them. God, this guy's laying into him. Uh, no, who is it? You. Almost saved. Prepare to be saved. Save you right in your save hole. Anybody still alive? Nice. 87,000 credits. I'll take it. Any good loots here? I see something blue over here. Something white there. Come on. I swear, sometimes when I try to go a direction, I just keep going in circles. I need to learn how to fly in this space better. And a color of some sort of pink or magenta. Okay, beautiful. Oop, I see a blue over here. Got it. Okay, got it. Okay, let's see here. There's lots of green dots that we can check out for sure. So let's get ones we haven't seen before. Although it's probably good to make sure we're jumping to people who we've already got faction with so I can just go ahead and buy stuff with them. Just want to build up more faction. Iron and Argonite are very heavy. Build your ship out of lighter materials to reduce drifting. Argonite. Interesting. I wonder if Ogonite, uh, Algonite is what you need to start building the bigger stuff that like has cruisers and all that kind of stuff. Heavy miners, eh? So nothing here. Uh, unless I want to sell some asteroids. Titanium. Any asteroids I can sell. Just gonna eyeball it real quick. If I don't see anything, we'll just move on because we are doing pretty good on money. Uh, I don't think I see any, unless there's one hidden in there somewhere. Okay, don't see anything. Okay. Alright, so we're looking for processors and semiconductors. If we can get processors and semiconductors, we're looking good. Can you sell small asteroids? Like, hey, here's a baseball size asteroid. Three dollars. <laughs> Man, I wish. I would be so rich. Alright, repair, resource depot. What you got? Silicon, power units, energy generators. Electromagnets. Okay. So what is it? Semiconductors and... Semiconductors and processors. That's all I'm looking for. Okay. What if I do a search for semi... Oh, there. I'm seeing stuff highlighted now. So, like fusion. I just bought some fusion. Uh, wait, no. I just saw a transformator. So... Transformator factory. Okay, so it's showing, it's saying the name of the system type. So I might not be super useful because, uh, well, unless these things I'm looking for are only available in, you know, in uh, those factories or whatever. 
Try trade stations. They have random inventory. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. Go to these different green ones. I have a trade interface, so every time I go here, I'm just looking at my trading overview, and it shows everything available in the sector. So, okay. Semiconductors and something. My brain can't remember. Anti-grab generators. Cool stuff. Processors. S and P. S and P. They have plankton for sale here. Cool. Uh, all right, so we're going to just kind of keep checking these green dots. Uh, semiconductors and processors. If we can find those, we're good. Because our Scrappy Doo and Randmark 1 each have things, and they're down by where we need to turn these in anyway. Okay, what's here? Uh, a couple of gates, eh? You know what? Let's go through one of these gates. Let's go to a random other part of the world. Gate to sacred insanity. Sacred insanity, okay. That does not sound like a good place to go. Let's go there. <laughs> that sounds dangerous for my mental stability. Gonna go jump right through. All right, what do we got here? A shipyard and more gates. That took us literally right next door. Wonderful. Do you even have anything for sale? No, you have a shipyard though. So if I needed to build another ship, I could do that here. Uh, okay, another gate probably just goes right here. It's kind of funny, some of these gates, it's like, why do you have a gate when you could jump that far? I guess that's for ships that don't have hyperdrive things that can help you out. Oh, I think I see an asteroid, though. Yeah. This one's at least softball size, so somebody will give me something for it. I think. Uh, is it big enough, or is it a fake big one? Are you a fake big one? Aha! Can't claim it. Sell it to these people who I can never get more uh, reputation with. Okay. Okay. Vehicles, water, power units. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. I guess technically what you could do is just keep jumping from gate to gate to try to find stuff. You'll give your chocolate bar for that little asteroid? <laughs> I'll raise you two cookies. Two whole stinking cookies. Now, what's interesting is when I look at this, I don't think this actually, this wouldn't show like um, systems and stuff. So if I wanted to buy, go around buying systems, this would not work. This is trade goods that you'd be trading and also that I think for parts for different things. Oh, there's just an actual wormhole. Okay. Okay, PNS. Semiconductors, yes. Semiconductor manufacturer S. Cool. All right. All right. And how many of those do I need? Eight of those. So where is the semiconductor factory? And then it's right there. Right next to this wormhole that we'll probably go through just because. You'll make it three cookies. <laughs> Damn it, you raised me more cookies than I'm willing to spend. So I spend all those cookies on asteroids. How will I eat the cookies? That's the real question. Slow it down. Slow it down. Gently. 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 Crap. Uh-oh. Subspace signals. Okay. All right. Eight semiconductors. Give me eight. Beautiful. 
Do I have the cargo space for the rest of the stuff? I do. So now, if I do this, if I were to go, hmm, I need semiconductors, it does show. That's awesome. Okay, it shows that there's a factory there. Okay. What other stuff is here? Lead mine, ice mine, copper mine. Uh, Scrappy Doo Mark One. Okay, and you're the guy who has the. St Are you the guy that has the stuff I want? Hold on a sec. Let me check. I think it was energy inverters. No, it was Scrappy Two Mark Two, right? Yeah, you have the energy inverters. Okay, so this is probably the guy I'm going to get rid of. So I probably want to just take his cargo. So I think what I'm going to do is actually have him move here. No, uh, move there. Um, and I'm going to come back and pick up his cargo, I think. And then shift salvage if there's anything to salvage. Salvage. Boop. Okay, there's no wreckage there. All right. Uh, where do I think you could actually salvage things? Okay, we'll just stop then. I just need to go pick up this uh, inventory. From okay, I'm going to go help these guys from the freaking Zotans, though. Well, friendos, it's gym time. Have a great rest of your stream, Rand. Later, chat. All right, uh, Mzuz, thanks for hanging out, my friend. We will see you next time. Okay, these are much weaker dudes. Once we're in the iron portion or whatever. Thanks for hanging out. Always nice to, nice to see you, sir. Well, never mind. They got blasted. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay, so all I'm looking for now are two processors. So let's uh, check Green Sectors on the way to go meet up with this guy to get his to get his stuff. Gonna lurk for some time. All right, Johnny, enjoy your lurking. You'll be back with more captain's logs. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> What is here? Nothing. A gate. A gate to nowhere. Right, so we're just looking for processors now. Now the question is going to be, this uh, scrappy do Mark 1 that I want to pick up inventory from, if I can't carry all his cargo, what will I do? I will probably have to... Uh... You know, maybe I could just convert that ship into the big ship I want to do. That's probably what I could do. I wonder if there's a way to um, change a ship down to a single block. <laughs> Delete everything but like the founding block or whatever. I bet I could convert that into the big Star Destroyer thing that I'm wanting to do. Uh, there's a there's a trading post here. Do you have processors? No. Okay. You do not. Well, while I'm waiting for my stuff to recharge, I guess I can see if you have any other stuff. Nah. Yep, captain. I'll buy some some captains. Again, I feel like I don't need as many captains now since I can't get that many more ships, so. How many captains do I have in my current ship? I have one. I'll buy one captain. Even though all of my ships have a captain. You never know. Maybe a captain will get old and die someday. I'll buy one of you. Now it says I am... Overpopulated. Really? Okay, well then if I get rid of one of these guys. There we go. 
Okay. Okay, processors, processors, where shall you be? I need to find you so I can be by that. I just rhymed B with B. God, I'm bad at words, by the way. I suck at words. Okay. More portals. Corporation of Igagaglu. Well, if nothing else, I'm uh, filling out my map in this area, though, of the galaxy. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this quest before my next next break in about 20 minutes. And if I can, I can uh, then for the last part of the stream, work on designing my big giant star destroyer. That I'm going to want to make mainly out of titanium, I think. I feel like that makes sense to be the kind of metal to build a giant, a giant, giant ship. So I wonder how you go about doing it. I guess I need, just need to scale up if I really want a giant ship. Nothing here. What are you? You are a military outpost. But you have stuff. Why is it not showing I can get stuff? You don't have what I need still. It's weird. Can I not buy from you because you're... That's weird. I don't know why it's not showing that I can buy stuff from you. When's building the Death Star? You know, you gotta, we gotta work our way up. <laughs> we need a Star Destroyer to consolidate our position, push deeper into the center of the galaxy. And then when we're ready to start destroying planets, that's when the Death Star is coming. I don't know, I feel like it'd be hard to design a ship that is like a round shell. wonder how you would do that. How would you make something that's actually just a big round thing? Uh, we got... Oh, crap. This is their territory? Ah, I jumped into their territory, so I really probably can't trade anything here, right? Watch them actually have what I need. They have semiconductors. Now they don't have what I need. Okay, well, we need to not be in this guy's area. Um, I can try to sell them an asteroid while I'm here. Hey, this stuff that you own, can I sell it to you? Any big asteroids to get them to hate me less? Be over here if there was one. No more wreckages in Scrappy Doo Mark II. Okay, as soon as we jump away, we will we will get you going, sir. All right, peace out. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Damn it. It's another one of their places. Please don't tell me you have processors here. Okay. That would really suck if the one thing I need is I can only find in, like, these warring factions place. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm firing at them. Don't fire at them. I'm in the middle of a war here, Scrappy-Doo. So give me a break. One of these days, I actually should go to war with somebody and actually try to destroy one of their stations or something. Oh, the one big AI guy that I fought was, like, tanky as hell. So probably fighting stations is similar to that. Scrappy-Doo is super needy. Rand, you know this car sitting outside your house? I'll sell it to you. <laughs> Ooh, how much? I need a new car. Wait a second. This is a mining area for the, my enemies. Oh my God, how come I keep jumping into my enemies' area? I thought I was jumping into nice, happy town. I want nice, happy town. I know people in nice, happy town. They're my friends. Okay, so... Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. I want, apparently, these people I befriended are surrounded by these other people or something. $12,000 and 3,500 reputation points. Hmm, it's a good price. 
But I have a car that looks just like it. Actually, it looks exactly like it. Hey! Hey, I recognize that peeling paint. It's trying to pull a fast one on me. It's like you're trying to sell me a timeshare in Puerto Vallarta or something. I'll never fall that for that one a second time. <laughs> okay, please. Please don't be people who want to kill me. Okay, good. They don't want to kill me. Beautiful. All right, Scrappy-Doo, where are you? Take that thing off. Okay, Scrappy-Doo Mark II is this guy. Okay. I don't know if we've done this one yet. Did we already do this one? We might have already done that one, actually. Oh, the ship of the AI is still there, so I can go back and fight him. Um, pretty sure we've already gotten that stuff. So I think I'm just going to tell him to stop for right now. Just chill out. Can you mine? He needs mining turrets. So he doesn't have mining turrets. Okay. All right. You're just going to hang out. Our scrappy dudes are hanging out for a bit. All right. Do you have processors? Is that what I need? Yeah. Two processors. You got nothing here. What is here? Miners, okay. All right, big dudes I can sell. Do I see anything? Quick, quickly, I spy with my little eye. No giant asteroids, I don't think. Okay. All right, let's go up... Uh, I feel like I gotta stay within the area of these guys that I'm friends with to actually have a chance of finding these processors to be able to buy from them. I really hope I don't have to like go to a whole other area just to find processors. This is a really big galaxy because you know ba galaxies are big. Processors, solar panels, okay. Laser uh, transformators. We got those already, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, we got those. Six, eight conductors. Okay. It's just the processors we need. Just the processors. Well, there's lots of green dots we can check. Is there any way I can make it so that my uh, stuff recharges faster? You know what? I bet this actually jumps right to where I want it to go. I'm going to try to save my uh, cooldown and just try to jump right through this thing. It's pointing the same direction. I assume that's how these things work. I paid zero credits for that. Okay, that is where I went, and there's just gates here. Okay. Well, let's do the same thing then. If I don't have to wait for my charge up, if I just go over here. Yeah, that should be the other one. I, I, I swear, I feel like I'm going, like, at a mall from store to store or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going from gate to gate. Is there really all here? Yeah. It's like, uh, I'm just I'm just window shopping at this lovely outdoor, out space galaxy mall. Woo, look how fast we're going. 3,400 MS. Okay. You a trader here? P. No, you have platinum for sale. All right. Processors. Where are you? Frickin' processors. Gimme. How hard is it to find a processor in a galaxy full of people and technology and trading posts? My God. I wonder if I should do a search for processor and then, like, scroll up to where I've been before, maybe. Power units, plankton, <laughs> all the peas, but not the peas I need. Damn. Okay. 
Okay. Um, plasma cells. Interesting. Where's your... Do you have an equipment guy here? No equipment guy. Okay. Uh, let's take your gate. Where's your gate? Right there. So we're waiting for our thing to recharge anyway. Might as well take a gate. Oh, please say I get through this. Good. <laughs> Tokyo drifting through the gate. Tokyo Drift Space Edition. All right, what do you got here? Processors, eh? Oh, my God, we found it. Okay, at the trading post. Praise our own Jesus. Where's the trading post? It is... What is that? Tea farm? Oh, my God. Jewelry manufacturer, oil refinery. Wow. This is this is hot stuff here. Tea, jewelry, and oil refining. Refining. Hey, what's up, Legal Pirate? How are you doing, my friend? All right, we're about to get hopefully a badass hyperdrive upgrade after I get all these things collected and turn them in. This lovely fetch collect quest. Okay. How is your Wednesday going, sir? Hope you're having a good one. Come on, come on. Let me dock with you. How many processors do, processors do I need? Two. Watch him say, if you bring me more, I'll make you another one. So I should have grabbed more, but let's get two. Am I not docked? I'm not freaking docked. I'm docked. Trade goods. Two processors. Gimme. Alrighty, that should be all the stuff we need. I'm okay thinking about looking for a new job. These 13-hour days are killing me. Yikes. Yeah, that sucks. Alright, so eight semiconductors, two processors. Let's make sure I have everything before I head back. Let's compare it in our cargo here. Okay. Two processors, eight semiconductors, six transformators, Energy inverters, my other guys has. Fusion generators, two. One electron accelerator, one neutron accelerator. All right, so if I pick up the five energy inverters, which is carried by, which are carried by, Scrappy Doo Mark II. All right. All righty. Let's do this thing. Where is Scrappy Doo Mark II? Way the hell down there. Okay. All right, we got some we got some jumping to do here. You get up at 5 a.m. Don't get home till nearly 9 p.m. Are you is like is is that like one of those four days on, three days off type of jobs? I had one like that once. It sucked. Oh, boss walks. I could ask you the same. Sometimes someone puts you to an end. Think you really have a chance? Prepare to die. All right, boss walks. I'll show you who's the boss. Who's the true boss? Take a. I'll take a. A break from treasure hunting to kick your ass. No, five days a week? You work 13 hours? Five days a week? Dude, that's like... What's that, six, 60 hours or something? How is that legal? Pretty sure if you're in the U.S., you are not allowed to work that much, sir. You need some time off. That is... You told us about this. That is that a bunch of overtime? It's like a bunch of overtime or something, right? Ship got an upgrade since you've seen it? Well, this is uh, probably a different ship than the one you've seen, too, because... We made an X-Wing, and we have two of them. Three, two. I haven't been able to make the third one yet. I'm actually, my plan is for the, after I finish my current mission, I want to make a big giant, uh, I want to make a big giant Star Destroyer. That's my goal. I think we have the resources to make that happen. 
Depends on what this quest tells us to do, but my plan is to make try to make some sort of big giant star destroyer. To be my mothership as I fly around the galaxy and kick ass with my X-Wing, my squadron of X-Wings. I'm Red Leader, I have Red 2 standing by. Tried to make Red 3, but I need a material I don't have yet to get to make the next uh, ship. So I'm going to be converting a scrap collector to a, to a Star Destroyer, I think. Of some sort, possibly. Oh, that's the boss. We want to kill him last. Because he'll take the longest. Double Pulse Cannon Turret. Nice. Have I tried the Pulse Cannons? I'm not sure if I've tried those yet. But you're right. We have upgraded, though. Upgraded to a different ship. I mean, our other ship is still out there. Maybe that. Maybe the other ship is the one I should upgrade to the, uh, like, mothership type thing. Uh, well, legal and what you need to do to make a living is something. Seems like things are going like this these days. You shouldn't have to work 13 hours a day, five days a week just to make a living. That's... That should not be needed. In the UK, you can sign away your maximum work hours away. You can sign that away, really. It's usually 55 max, I think, but because you sign, you can work up to 80 hours a week. Jesus. I thought working conditions in the US are bad. Is that is that normal to do that much, though? Hopefully, that's not something that a lot of people have to do because that's, that's terrible. Okay, I want my bolters and other stuff. Saying anything further is going into politics. Oh, okay. Yikes, man. I guess in the U.S. that definitely wouldn't, that definitely wouldn't fly. I think, anyway. Ooh, something exploded. Pie Boy knows the U.K.? Well, Pie Boy's in the U.K., so he should know. <laughs> I guess either I forgot or didn't know that you were in the UK. All right, what did we get? Oh, another XSTN thing, which is, I think, a Zotan. That's probably what that XS whatever stands for, is Zotan. K3, I wonder what that is. Shield, ooh, that's an upgraded shield reinforcer, too. Okay, I don't need the trading system anymore, so... Let me actually use one of those things that picks up stuff. What is that called? Tractor beam thing. Oh, what is that called? Tractor beam? Loot collection range. Okay. Now that should help me pick up the loots easier here. It's me, Big, Big Duck Mario. Okay. Okay. What's up? You like Big Duck BBQ better. Okay. Suck <laughs> like Big Duck. You misspelled your own name again. Oh, I always misspelling my own name. So hard. Okay. How much more loot stuff can we get here? Okay. Any really high-end, colorful stuff? We're over a hundred thousand uh, neonite. It's just about time. Just about time to build our star destroyer. Just about time. Okay, did I get all the loots here? I think I flew through most of the loot clouds. Uh, there's a couple clouds over here. Turn off my turrets. They keep making me think there's blue stuff when it's my turret aimer thingies. Retic reticules, I guess you'd call them. Get that guy. Great. I thought I saw something else around here. Anything around you? Okay. I think we got most of the juicy, juicy, juicy loots. Okay. So we're just trying to get down to Um, Scrappy-Doo Mark II. He's got my loots. Or he's got my last thing I need to grab to get this thing. Oh, let me see what that new thing I got was. 
Ultra Tech Trading. Term. Okay, so it's another legendary turret slot thing. Wow. Well, if I swap over my Rand Mark I into a Star Destroyer type thing, um, we could have so many turrets. I think I kind of want to do that. I said I looked up wages for the same job I do in the UK for 20k a year here. Lowest pay for it in the US is 60k a year. Freaking hell, move to the US, man. Although, I, I assume that's with conversion being taken into consideration. <laughs> like, I hope, because I'm pretty sure the British pound is worth way more than the US dollar. But I assume you, that was taken into consideration when you did that. With conversion, okay. Yeah, sure, you do have to pay for health care in the U.S., which is another big political thing. And who knows about cost of living. But still, if you make three times the amount, I feel like you could afford all those other things. Holla, holla, get some dollar. <laughs> now, do you all not have to pay for uh, health care in, uh, in the U.K.? Okay, I feel like they've mined out a lot of the stuff here. So I think I'm going to have these miners start moving down to the next mining location. So, Rand Miner, stop. And mine there. Okay, so that's, uh, which, which ship did I just tell that to? Uh, that was the Rand Miner Mark II's. So Rand Miner Mark One. You do the same thing, just follow him. Oh, stop. You know, kind of go opposite of this guy. And then mine. And loop it. And uh, we actually have... We have Red Two. Uh, actually, can I, I think we're, we might be about to get jumped on. Red wing, X-wing, red two. Can I tell him to escort me? Escort. So, I think we're about to have a, a, a wing of X-wings here. I think we're about to get to attacked, or, uh, I think some, um, Zotans might show up soon. And I would love, I would love to fight them with my two X-Wings. <laughs> um, you still like living in the UK? We have the NHS, which despite flaws is good. Oh, is that like a national healthcare system or something? I remember when I used to get two pounds to one dollar. I know people hate on the NHS, but it's pretty great. Well, it's probably great compared to others. So here we go. We got our little X-Wing flotilla here. All right, we're waiting on these. We're purposefully waiting on these signals here because uh, we're going to have a little dog fight. <laughs> We're gonna have a dogfight with some Zotans. Y'all ready? You want to get rid of the bootleg X-Wing then? No, no. I want to change Rand Mark 1, which is my guy that looks like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, sand fighter thing. And I want to turn him into a big giant Star Destroyer. All, all call signs. Report in. Red leader standing by. Oh, they hadn't finished mining that one. That's fine. They've mined a lot out here. I don't see much green left here at all. Guess I can maybe mine this while I'm waiting. Can you mine with lasers? I think you actually kind of can. Sand fighter thing. All right. Oh, group of aliens. What are they? Oh, they are the Zotans. Okay. All right, here we go. Red 2 standing by. I'm on the leader. Concentrate all firepower on those towers. Um, let me tell Red 2, attack enemies. See if he does his thing. I want to see if he's doing it. I want to make sure I'm not the only one fighting around here. Did, did, it, did he do it? He's got that order. 
Support me, Red 2. Where are you, slow? Why why is he going so slow? What are you doing? Red 2, they're right over there. He's still patrolling with me. Is that what he's doing? There he goes. Okay. There he goes. All right. Like I could kill him easily myself, but I I want I want to see I want to see what you got, Wedge. Wedge Antilles. Show me what show me what kind of firepower you got. That guy's got electric things, unless or unless my guys are doing that. Maybe they're electrocuting each other. It's two Sith fighting each other. Who's that? Why are? Oh, he's shooting me. I thought that guy was shooting his friend. <laughs> like, stop shooting your friend. You're supposed to fight each other. Oh, is that a big Zotan ship? No, that's that's just the small one right next to me. Perspective. It's a thing. There's the Tatooine sand vehicle, right? Attack the enemy, bootleg X-Wing pilot rolls down the window, shoots a 9mm out of it. <laughs> I didn't say drive-by. I said attack. Yo, dog, this is how I attack. What? You want to fight about it? I don't know how to do a gangster voice. All right, all right. Beautiful. That was that was my gangster voice, by the way. Okay. Well done, sir. Now you can go back to escorting your people. Red 2... Actually, uh, where are you guys going? Going down here. So red two. There, 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 and patrol, and loop. Beautiful. Well, we pick up the loots. Ran so gangster. That's right. If you say gangster, you're not a gangster. I, th I think is probably the rule. It's a sand, if it's a sand fighter, isn't that the sand speeders that go zoom? <laughs> what? He says, gangster has the New Testament. You know what? I swear, so many um, actual gangsters or like um, gang members probably consider themselves very Christian. Like go to church and stuff. Or at least consider themselves that way. I bet. I would I would bet. Kind of like so many of the mob or the mafia, you know, like go to Catholic and confess and stuff like that, you know. It's like I feel like that's kind of the opposite of what that stuff's made for. <laughs> oh my god, no more free hugs. Two months. Here's your YouTube money cuz you use Adblock. Well, thank you for the the two months of continued randomness. I really appreciate that, my friend. That's super generous of you. All right, is that all the loot? I guess that's all the loot. We didn't get much from those Zotans. All right, so we're continuing our quest to get down to Scrappy 2 Mark 2. Scrappy 2. Scrappy 2 Mark 2. Service well provided. Well, I am glad you are enjoying the content. That is, that's why I put it out there for people to enjoy, and because I enjoy doing it. All right, so I need to go dock with the Scrappy Doo Mark II. And when I upgrade my ship, I need to make sure I do it by a place that's got crew, or in a in a sector that has crew. I would say. You should take into consideration that Rand ain't got, get ain't get that YouTube money because he's demonetized for the politics. No, that's that is incorrect. You are wrong. <laughs> It's cool why ads are annoying, because if you're good enough, people should choose to give you money. Also, sub hypo. Well, I don't know. I, I have the ads set so that I think they only pre-roll and... On YouTube, anyway. I think they only pre-roll and... Like, the banner ads, I think. I don't remember. I wanted to make sure that there were no ads in the middle of the video because it always pisses me off when I watch a YouTube video and there are ads in the middle. If mine are doing that, please let me know, but they shouldn't be. I don't think they do that. Use YouTube Red, is that like is that like Twitch Prime where you don't get commercials? Although with Twitch Prime you now get Twitch commercials, which I absolutely hate. 
I guess the biggest ripoffs, and that's because of, uh, I guess, Amazon taking over Twitch or something like that. All right, so this is another place where we do want mining to happen eventually. There's no problem when there's ads in the middle if there's space specifically for it, which is not the case the majority of the time. Yeah. But even then, I don't like it because... I mean, I guess maybe I don't watch two-hour videos like all the ones I upload. <laughs> okay. So I need to stop moving. Stop moving. Okay. I need to exchange cargo with this guy. Actually, what I guess I could do... I could take... Okay, actually, let me do this this time. I could just take everything from this ship. Okay, cargo. So I need... I think it's these things. One. Wait a sec. Why do I have so much crap? Okay, you have all of my scrap iron. Actually, all. How much is this? 474? There we go. That'll let me get... One, two, three, four. Wow, those take up a lot of space. Five. I think that's what I need. Let's get one extra just to make sure. Time to bed. See you next month, guys. All right, no more free hugs. Next month. It's already next month for me. Or you're gonna you're gonna stop by once a month for that. That's cool. <laughs> I love watching those 11 minute videos that take a half hour. I know, right? Because of ads. Okay, let's make sure again that we have everything. So we had everything but the energy inverters. There's six of them, and I needed five. Okay. We should have everything we Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, random bandit showing up. See if Rand Mark 1 comes and helps us out. He should. And actually, this will give something for Scrappy-Doo to do here. Scrappy can scrappy do all the scrap of scrap delicious stuff. No. Fire at this guy. What the hell? Uh, it's like watching the last two minutes of an FL game that takes 45 minutes. I know, right? Because of all the timeouts and two minute warnings and all that stuff. Well, I, that is the two-minute warning that would start at all the timeouts and everything. I'm curious. Is my other ship... Okay, there he is fighting. Good. The AI is good in this game. It's doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> that ship's... I swear the, the physics in this game is pretty funny. That sometimes your guns actually make them spin or something. Fly through the loop cloud as we kill them. Uh, mobile resource merchant. The hell does a mobile resource merchant have? Oh, I can buy and sell. Holy crap, I can actually buy the other resources? Oh, um. So if I bought. Five hundred. Oh no, he doesn't have them. Okay. All right, so I could sell stuff to him if I wanted to. Uh, how much stuff do I have? I actually have two four hundred ninety-six thousand titanium. I probably should still sell some of my titanium to him, but I'm not going to. Okay, let me see here. Uh, first of all, Scrappy Doo. Salvage. And. Any of the loot clouds from those guys we just killed? A little bit of loot over here. And we're going to go turn in this quest, and then we're going to build a freaking Star Destroyer, man. We're doing it today. We're doing it. I missed a thing. I see a white thing. Where'd you go, white thing? The white stuff. First one was a sweet one. Got great sugar buzz. 
Nothing gets me high as the sandwich cookie does. Wow, we can just jump right there, too. All righty, let's go turn in this mission. See what kind of crazy OP um, navigation software thing we get. Which I'll probably... Whoa, railgun turret? Did I just get a railgun turret? I think we just got our first railgun. Holy crap. I just saw it. Uh, it's not in my cargo. I guess I can only look at it in the construction menu. Oh my god, we're starting to get railgun turrets. Okay. Alright, I've been wanting to try these guys out. 78, 61... All right, let's swap out a couple of our weapons for to try out rail guns. So, 61 and 78. What's my lowest DPF, DPS weapons on this? It's probably my lasers, actually. 36, 65, 71, 71. I'm not loving my 71, 76. I have some really good chain guns, actually. I'm not loving the lasers, actually. I'm going to swap out. Rail guns for lasers. Let's give it a try. Whoops. All right. And I want the highest DP. Well, this one's independent. I think you can fire independent ones yourself if you just don't put it on independent firing. 78. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm using up all my slots. All right, let's, let's swap out a machine gun one then. Slots one. You have to maybe get rid of two of these. Yeah, uh, so let's get rid of... Damn, these are going to be uneven. All right, what's my lowest? 73, 140. So probably this guy. So if I delete that guy... Ah, oh, crap. Neonite. All right. So I got to change this to Neonite. Uh, Neonite turret base. Transform. Do that to all of these guys so it matches. Okay. All right. People have been so excited about rail guns lately. I feel like I can finally... Use them myself. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, what was I going to do here? I was going to do something. Scrappy-Doo, are you... Uh, loop your salvaging wreckage, right? Stop what you're doing. Salvage. Loop. Oh, I can't tell him to do it while I'm doing this. Okay. Nano machine sun. Wait, what? Okay. Let's see what... I want to see what these railguns actually look like. And I need to assign them to... Chain gun one, railgun one, railgun one. And I want these to be controlled by player. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So it's like lasers, but they're like pulse... Pulse lasers. Actually, I got pulse lasers, didn't I? Have I tried any of the pulse lasers that I have? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh my god, I have a 252 DPS freaking laser turret. Oh my god. Okay, I need to replace something with that. Double Tesla. Holy crap, I have some insane DPS weapons I'm not using right now. Jesus Okay, but I did get a pulse. I want to see what the pulse stuff do does. Where's it? Have I tried? I don't think I've tried any of the pulse pulse cannon. Okay, double pulse cannon turret. Wow, the damage is really low. All right, I think I might need to put some of these really high damage weapons I'm about to use on whatever my new ship is. So I'm gonna hold off on these. I do want to try one pulse cannon thing here. So let me get rid of 76. Let's get rid of these guys. You and you. I want to try a pulse cannon. And this highest DPS thing that I just got, this freaking laser is 252 
frickin' DPS. Neonite, is that not Neonite? I swear I turned that into Neonite. Alright, Neonite, Edge Turret Base. Okay, thought I did that already. I'll do the same thing there so I can put extra turrets there if needed. Okay. There we go. There's that. And what was the other thing that we were using? A pulse turret I wanted to try. Where's the pulse? Alright, 42.5. Very low DPS. So I just kind of want to see what it does. Okay. Okay, let's see what these things look like. Um, again, I gotta sign these things. A number, pulse cannon, laser turret. Wow! Ah, so the pulse... Okay, so that's the... I guess the pulse... I'm not sure which laser is the little... Is the pulse one doing that laser with the little thing around it? I can't tell. All right, it's cool. All right, let's go here. Let's do. Uh, let's let's keep getting distracted by new and better weapons and stuff. <laughs> okay. All righty. Let's do this thing. Let's turn in this mission. Where is this guy? Where are you, sir? A friend. I'm flying directly away from you, apparently. There you are. Interact. I have your goods. I'll build the system. I'll be done in no time. Here you go. With this, you'll be able to destroy Bowden's hyperspace drive. Oh, yeah. I don't get the thing. I have to actually use that. This system might get destroyed when you use it. It's very possible that you have one shot, and that's it. Oh, my God. Okay. Hyperspace overloader. Built by Botan's, Botan's chief engineer. It's configured to destroy Botan's hyperspace drive. Is this offline? Seems like an MMO in its size. You can play this um, multiplayer, but I think it's one of those things where you host the, the you actually host the server, so it's not an MMO. All right. So how do I do? Okay. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so, my next mission then. So, how do I find him? I feel like there should be a next part of this quest. It's good. Need some good, more good single player games? I agree. And I am really enjoying this. Um, so, he gave me this. I hope this is not the end of the quest. Um, I wonder if I have to, like, find him now. Well, let's go do this distress signal and maybe come back. Maybe it'll, like, allow us to tell us where we actually go to use it. Or maybe I have to equip the thing. Hmm, let me see. If I were to equip this... Is that what I need for the next thing to happen? Okay. Okay. All right, all right. I'll help you. I already have all the parts. Yes, I did that. Okay, so we did all that. Mission updated. There it is. Okay. Equipping it and talking to him. Apparently updated it. It says it was updated. Wait, are you updating me to do this again? I wonder if you're like supposed to repeat this in case it breaks or something. Okay. I'm a little curious if this is actually going to work. You kind of wish it had loot boxes? <laughs> it has loot boxes. Our fake distress call worked. Great. Let's kill these fools. You do not know... 
the can of worms you just opened up. I have frickin' rail guns. You ready to get blasted? Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I was ho hoping. Come on. Hit him with your rail guns. I think they actually, I think somebody said they actually nerfed rail guns recently, so. Maybe they're not nearly as OP as they used to be. Of course, I also have very beginner ones, so they probably are. Better, better versions to get, like the crazy OP laser I just got. You hope that all loot boxes will be banned. That oh, was really hard for me to target this guy. Pay my crew for Scrappy Doo Mark II. Where are you? These guys are actually doing pretty good damage, so that's probably why I'm not like one-shotting them. These guys are actually pretty high level. We are again, we are kind of in the sector of the uh, galaxy where. We have the higher level dudes. Can't find any more wreckages. All right, sir. All right, we're going to have you come this way soon because there will be wreckages for you here to scrap. Now, oh, torpedo's hitting me. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, coming through. Did you ever add a torpedo storage to this? I didn't. I didn't add torpedo storage or the ability to actually fire torpedoes with this. I feel like I don't want these, like, kind of fighter ships to even use torpedoes. I mean, I kind of want to put those on the big ships to have that be their thing, that they actually can use torpedoes as one of their, you know, weapons of choice. Oh, you're getting blasted. You pansy. But that, this thing has a launcher, but this thing does not have a actual torpedo storage. And I've never bought torpedoes. That's the other reason I don't... You know, to have to buy ammo for a weapon, I mean, unless you can, like, make it eventually, I just don't know that I want to have a weapon. I got to buy ammo for all the time. It seems kind of annoying. Not sustainable. Maybe once I set up shop and, like, am have a base of operations where I can get, like, a trader that always has that or something, or I can produce them at a factory or something, that might be a thing. All right. You and your fake distress signals. Get a man killed. Or all of your men killed. Oh, nice. I think I shot down his, uh, accidentally shot down his torpedo. Beautiful. Okay. Anybody else here? Nope. So that means I'm going to send Scrappy Doo Mark II. We're going to have you head down. Uh, stop what you're doing. Stop whining about everything. Go down here. You're going to scavenge, salvage, whatever. Salvage, repeat. And then we'll get um, Rand Mark 1. We'll have you. Actually, I want. Um, yeah, Rand Mark 1 will have you uh, escort. There, and then patrol. Repeat. I think I want to actually turn in one of my other scrappy, scrappy guys, scrappers, into my uh, big ship and kind of keep Rand Mark 1 because I'm kind of using him to patrol. Or I could turn Rand Mark 1 into... I actually could turn Rand Mark 1 into... Um, am I, is my cargo full? Into my... X-Wing Mark III. My cargo's not full. Why am I not picking up stuff? What is this? Player menu. 
And I'm also not sure how to do the next part of this mission because um, it's not advancing now. I don't know. Maybe I just have to find the guy and then equip the thing. I am not picking up loot. I'm so confused. Cargo's not full. Let me re-equip the thing that picks up stuff from further away. What's that called? Tractor beam thing? I need my loots, man. I'm flying right through this loot. And I'm not getting it. I'm not happy about this. Can I no longer pick up any scrap or something? I don't understand why uh, I'm not picking this stuff up. There it goes. All right, some of it was coming in. Maybe it was buggy or lagging or something. Well, as long as I can pick up these things, the, the, the glowy guys, that's what I mainly care about. Don't tell me you're not going to let me pick these up. Okay, there we go. Okay. For whatever reason, it's not picking up all of the other loots. So... My... Oh, is it... Can you be full of something? I have 498,000 titanium. I didn't know you could max out on a resource. I feel like there's iron and titanium here, though, and I don't have as much iron as I have titanium, so... Are you saying I'm full of it? You take it back. Uh, you might be right. <laughs> okay, maybe I am full. Well, I think that's our sign that we need to build our thing. Have I taken my last break for the day yet? I can't remember. I think I'm going to take one more break, and then what we're going to do is scrappy do. Mark 1 is getting turned into a Star Destroyer. So, real quick, guys, let me stand up stretch use the restroom. Um... So I got a guy patrolling here. I'm going to actually AFK and hope I don't get blown up and hope this guy will protect me. But thank you all so much for watching. If you're new stream, please hit the follow. hope you're enjoying the Avorion. Super, super fun, addictive, chill, peaceful game. When I come back, we will uh, try to build a Star Destroyer. I'm psyched. Hope you are. Be right back, my friends. Right now, Saucer. All right, we'll have a good one, my friend. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Okay, let's see here. So, all right, so you're making your way down here. So, our plan is to turn this guy into our big dude. Now, my question I have is, I have, I have, cargo on this ship. Do I need to get rid of all the cargo if I'm gonna like swap out everything, or will it just save it in the cargo? Oh, pirates attacking the sector. Okay. All right. All right. Where is oil refinery? I want somebody who's got crew. 
mechanics, engineers, security, crewmen. Okay. Chemicals. What I'm going to need is lots of engineers and mechanics. So who's got the most engineers and mechanics for sale? 9 and 15. Gunners, too, I'm going to need. Is there a military thing here? Chemical factory. Fighter factory. Engineers, gunners, pilots, security, sergeants. Probably going to need sergeants, too. We'll probably just need guys from all of them. So let's just go... Let's go... Do this build, buy something, or I'll be able to dock pretty quickly next to it. So, um, all right. I've never, like, swapped one ship into another ship. So let me look at your cargo real quick here. If I lose any of this stuff, I feel like it's not a huge deal. So I'm going to try to do this. So here we go. Building mode. Can I just break this down? I wonder how big I'm going to actually try to make this thing. So I just need to start selecting blocks and deleting them. So let's just start doing that. We basically want to get down to the very smallest building block and then make it huge. Because I've never messed with, like, actual size of stuff before. Like, how big of a ship we have tried to make. So... This is this is going to be exploring for me. Okay, that's the root block. Great. Cool. So I want to get rid of everything but the root block. Okay, so there is our root block. Let's turn it into a titanium storage block. Or titanium uh, cargo bay, I guess. There we go. So titanium cargo bay. Runs out in two minutes, one seconds. Denied for you. I don't know what that means. So I want this to be huge. So grid size, scale, step. Can I make this bigger? How do I make this bigger? Select block. And is there a way to just resize a block? Thank you for the follow. Shooter Rich, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's go A, X. No, okay. It doesn't look like I can actually. So this is going to be like the core of our ship. So. Uh, how do I want to make a Star Destroyer? So it's basically a big triangle with a command thing on top with three giant engines on the back. So what if we start with the three giant engines on the back and how we want to power this thing? So basically, I want to make the biggest, giantest Neonite engine I can make on the back of this guy. So Neonite engine. Where are you? Uh, Neonite engine. And I think what it has is like three big giant circular engines on the back of it I think so how big can I make oh my god I can make it as big as I want okay all right all right holy crap all right we are making something huge here so uh that is 26,000 nanite just with that okay I don't want to quite do that your previous ship similar to x-wing I expect this to look like a slice of cheese <laughs> that's what we're going for Wow, this is a lot of neonite. 40. This is like half of our neonite right here. I don't think I can make my engines out of neonite. I think I, I think I have to make most of my stuff out of titanium, honestly. Just because I have so much of it. Three hundred and forty-seven thousand just to make this engine. All right, I'm going to have to figure out scale, what I can actually afford, because I think that might be too much. I thought I had plenty for everything I wanted to do here. If I do that, oh God, that's a huge engine. And I would need three of these. Can I sell that and get my money back? Yes. Five, three, four, 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 nine, nine, eight. 
five, three, four. Okay, okay, cool. I'm not, I'm not committed to anything here. So if I did one big giant engine, and then you kind of have two smaller ones next to it. Uh, actually, uh, I'll do that if I just copy paste. And then I do W, that's like the entire thing gets sized down a bit. 121,000. Okay. Is that even? That is even. So that's our big, giant freaking engines. All right, that is used up uh, about how much titanium? About a Half of our titanium just in the engines. Okay. All right. This might be a little too big. <laughs> this might be a little too big. But I really want it to be big. So let me see if I can make this work. So titanium... Edge armor. Okay, I want this to be shorter, right? S down. There we go. And I want this to mirror X. Okay. This might be too big. That's what she said. <laughs> well played, sir. Okay. Um, actually, I do want to mirror X. And what I want to do is I want to delete this guy. Crap. Undo. Okay, apparently those were already mirrored. Control copy. Delete. Control V. I want this to line up here. Um, I think I actually need this to be the same thickness, giggity. That's what she said. That. Okay, okay. Something like that. Although, I think I want these to be down, too. Come on. All right, make it slightly... Slightly smaller like that. Okay. And that way, we can do match block. Wow, I've already used up so much titanium. Mm. Uh, Um, why the hell would you not line up there? Okay, well, don't match block then, because you suck. Okay. Okay. Um, wow, that is a lot of titanium. And this is just the back part. Hey, what's up, David Rosenberg? How are you doing, my friend? So to really make it look triangular... Like a Star Destroyer. That would be the back right there. Okay. Might do something with armor on the bottom too, but okay. All right. This is the thing I will never hear a woman say to me part of the stream. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. So that's the back of the Star Destroyer. I need to have, I need to pull up a picture of a Star Destroyer actually. So it needs to have a kind of, uh, it actually needs to be more flat on the top so that the little piece can come up here. I'm doing great, David Rosenberg. I'm having a blast making crazy stuff. That's what I'm doing. 
trying to make a freaking Star Destroyer in this game. So if I did something more like this, and a little bit shorter, uh, D, no, S. Yeah, there we go. So if I do that and do a flat piece, and let's make this flat piece be crew quarters. There we go. Yeah, it even has the little uh, lights and stuff. <laughs> it's great. I don't know that I'm going to have enough titanium for this thing I'm trying to build. Okay. And then we have a little piece in the middle that then goes up to the little piece at, on top. Actually, I don't want this to be crew quarters. I think I want this to be cargo. Because the crew quarters will be on the top because that's like the command station. So that's cargo bay. Aurora from Subnautica. Oh, yeah, that would be badass. Okay. So, this next piece we'll do, um... We would want docks on the bottom, for sure. This thing is gonna need... I guess I could make this next piece out of thrusters. So, some titanium thrusters in the middle here. So basically, this would be kind of a this kind of thing there. Let's make it taller, kind of like that. Aurora from Dead Space. Oh, well, I don't think I've played Dead Space. Okay, and then we have like this kind of uh, parallelogram structure that this is definitely going to be crew quarters. So, we want it to be like this. So this is kind of the command post here. Uh, and I actually want this to be wider. Oh my god, I'm using so much titanium. I don't think there's any way we make this have enough titanium for all of this okay this is starting to look like what i want it to look like okay all right um so there's that and uh we want shield generator the shield generators are kind of on the top of this thing so we would put the shield generators on here but i want to get the shape of this right as well so let's get iron i mean uh, titanium armor Is this what I want it to be? I want it to be offset that like this. Kind of like that. No, we want it to be shorter. Yeah, so kind of like that. And then it continues to kind of curve up. So, um... What's our crew quarters at right now? 816. Okay, it's a lot of crew. Shape needs to be always right. That's right. Gotta have the right shape. Um, I probably should have some more thrusters here. This thing's gonna be really hard to... <laughs> possibly not able to move. So I did something like that. And that's to allow for movement and then we have a big armor piece here uh, actually I could make these the shield generators right here um, actually I'm gonna put the shield generators on top of these guys all right so neonite shield generators how much neonite is that? 76,000 neonite, 810,000 money for this. <laughs> All right, well, that's most of my neonite in the two shield generators there. Okay. Look at how much health this thing has. This is crazy. Uh, 
Okay, so it's kind of like that. And then... Giggity overload. <laughs> Do I want more crew quarters here or something else here? Maybe something to help steer. Like if I put a big giant iron inertia damp dampener here. That actually looks kind of cool. It's going to be sick if you have enough resources. I know. I'm using up so many of my resources <laughs> to build this thing. Okay. All right. So now we do kind of a titanium structure to finish the shape and then put the two balls, which are supposedly the shield generators. Two balls, giggity. Um, and we need this to be shorter. Kind of like that. And then kind of a square piece here. Beautiful. And then we put the... Um, what? Are there any things I can make that are round to actually do the shield generator? I might do this out of just glowy stuff. Just to make it look right, even though it wouldn't be functional. Although I'm going to need a huge integrity thing for this so pieces don't just fall apart. I have no idea how that's going to work. Titanium. Let's do that out of iron because we're going to probably hide that. So I iron, integrity... Is that a thing I can make out of iron? Maybe it's only... Uh... What does it look like? Integrity field generator. Okay. Looks like I do need to do that out of titanium. Okay. Let's see how big this needs to be to cover everything. Okay, that does not cover everything. And actually, if I like put this... Uh, like on the front here or something. Ah, that's not bad. Okay, that covers that entire area. Okay. I might have to do this build piece by piece. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, uh, let's see here. So if I do, to save some titanium, I'm going to make the little shield generator things out of just, like, um, iron frameworks up here to make the little shield generator looking things, which are going to be, like, uh, these are actually supposed to be smaller. So can I do this smaller and make these? Yeah, there we go. So these are like just poles that will hold the shield generators. If I could do like one, two, three, four. Now putting something on top of those, is that something I can do? Can I make something vaguely round shaped to do this? Uh, it's actually kind of an octagonal thing. Maybe if I make them glowy. And make this a, uh... Can I place this on top of these guys is the question. So hard to go where I want to go. I think I might be able to put these on top of these guys, maybe. Soul ship building scheme sounds like a big, giant, hard something joke. Okay, great. Glad you think so. I feel like it's not going to allow me to put them on top of these little guys. Oh. It's doing it somewhere. Where's that going? Ah, it's going over there. What is this ship going to be? This is our Star Destroyer. Okay, there we go. Can I do that? Here, that is actually looking pretty darn good. Can I do the same thing? Oh, I see it. It's there somewhere. 
It's there somewhere. Where am I? I'm getting on a pixel on. I think I'm getting a pixel on this, this guy right here. Okay. All right, that kind of works. So if I like round that out with edges, this might actually do what I want it to do. It's so hard to kind of see this though. Okay, that is, that's kind of working. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Kind of a weird shape, but it's all glowy, uh, so it might be okay. I wish there was a way to like move something. I might actually just take this though and do like a bottom edge of this as well. Where did that go? Undo that one. It's not going where I want it to go. The scale's so big, and I can't like move my camera that well that it's hard to make this actually quite go where I want it to go. Okay, what if I just do it on this guy? Can't make it any smaller for some reason. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. Okay, that is not where I wanted you to go. It's kind of weird. I think the top isn't going to surprise. It's supposed to look like that. You know what? How about you design your own Star Destroyer, and then you can tell me how much it looks like a Star Destroyer. I'm doing my best. That's looking... That's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. There's one little thing in the middle, too. I think I'm going to leave that off for now, because I just want to see if I can actually get any sort of body that will fit. Um... So, uh, my amount of resources might not allow for much more. I already got the shield generator. So, um, cargo hold and crew quarters is fine. So probably I just make the rest of this thing out of armor and put the stuff inside in the middle that I need to. So, um, if I use frameworks for a lot of the inside of this, that might actually save me resources. So, let's see here. If I use a framework for a big chunk of the inside of this. And then kind of build on top of that. Yeah, this uses a lot less titanium. We might be able to do it using frameworks here. Okay, I want you guys to touch. Please touch each other. Actually, I guess you don't necessarily need... Oh, you're on the other side. Either side of this block is what you're doing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, that might be a little long. Because I'm going to need to, like, do sections of this going in, I think. So if we do this, and then do another frame that kind of gets smaller... Kind of like this. Okay. And then have it come kind of to a point. This thing is going to be so huge. All right. Okay, so something like that. Okay, that... Proportion-wise, looks pretty good for me for a Star Destroyer. If I can get just the outside looking good. Proportion-wise, that looks pretty good to me. If I can get it to come to a point. So, let's use um, titanium armor for the front to get an edge on this. Uh, so, I want it to be like this. And I want it to be like this. Is that what I want? No, I want it to be kind of like there. That's what we want. Can I do that with match block here? Yeah, there we go. 
Okay. All right, so, and we kind of wanted to, somehow we needed to get, actually, if we just have the edge stay this size, and then it goes, it gets bigger from there. I think we can make this work. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about you. I feel like this is starting to look like a Star Destroyer. That's pretty close. Uh, I need this to be a little longer so it actually hits that point. Uh, this guy. And if it intersects a little bit, I think that's fine. Is that fine? Okay, all right. And actually, the uh, the way that titanium looks kind of looks like a Star Destroyer to me, too. Just that, that kind of texture it has. So if I do that. How's that? That gives it that space. I don't like having that space there. Uh, needs to line up. Why won't you line up? Can I have what I have right now and now have it match? There we go. That's what I need right there. That's exactly right. Okay. Does it get thicker? It doesn't really get thicker on this section, giggity. So, if I get this close to right. Actually, I need, I need kind of a flat section for this to come out. Uh, to kind of... Actually, if I just widen this frame, I think that'll do what I need it to do. Control, copy, paste, delete it. No, don't do that. Okay. Damn, I can't... Okay, what if I just do an extra... I just do an extra frame here to match this. That's what I need to do. I want it to line up with the edge of the other guy. Not quite lining up there. I think we need our scale step to be a little smaller for this. How close is that? Still a little bit hanging off there. Let's go like one here and see if I can get this to match. Look at my ship. My ship is amazing. Give it a lick. Tastes just like titanium. Okay. Great. That's exactly what I want except a little bit wider. So can I do that? Can I stinking do that? How would I do that? If I had a piece doing match block right there overlaps too much okay I think we might just have to go with that unless I can I need to go a little smaller we could do this I think I know I'm being very anal about this but this could be my masterpiece if I could get this right. It's freaking close. I do like this to match it exactly. All right, I think that's flush. Beautiful. Uh, it's very close. It's close enough flush that I don't think it'll bug me too much. Okay, all right. So now... Go back to the armor. Oh crap, I need to go back up here. So we want it to be like uh, that. Turn around. And. Oh, actually, 
actually need you to... Uh, what's the button? R. There we go. Be like that, only smaller. Okay, so if I can do that and match the size of this guy. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, I think the angle needs to be a bit wider there, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be a straight angle. It's not going to be an exact straight angle, sadly. And these frames that are coming off might might have to deal with that. But. Okay, so I want this angle to be a little bit... No, that's wrong. Like that, I think. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. If I can go back to titanium frame. Oh, my God. Let's use iron frame. Why wasn't I using iron frame before? Let me actually change all of the titanium frames to iron frames. Uh, uh, actually, I don't have to hide that. I can just do titanium frame or iron frame work. Transform. should be giving me titanium back, right? Yeah. Good. It's better. Okay, cool. All right, and so I want... Uh, do I need an iron framework for this to get the right size here? I think so. Oh my god, this ship is insane. I wonder how many crew I'll even need for this thing. Okay, all right. Um... Frameworks might be a little too wide. Okay, I'll deal with that later. I want to actually see if I can put this thing together. Okay, so... Iron framework. So basically, I want it to match this block, don't I? Yeah, if I do that... That works. Sticks out a little bit on the edge there. I think that's actually fine. Okay, titanium edge armor. Okay. All right, that is pretty darn close to what I... That is... <laughs> That's pretty darn close to the right shape. I'd need this to come out a little bit. And uh, this to maybe come forward a little bit. I think I can maybe eventually... Well, maybe I can change that. If I just make this frame a little bit longer in the front, I might be able to do that. Let me see. If I take this size, copy, paste, have it start right on the edge here. Um... that. No, that's not going to work. I got to get the angle right here, so I need to be, be not match block here. I need it to be inside, but the same length. That's where I need it to be, so. How do I get it to come to a point? That's the question. I need this same angle. I wonder... Okay, so this gives me an idea of how close this needs to be. Okay. So if I just make this uh, frame smaller, I should be able to make this work. So if I just go like this. Don't do that. There. Copy, paste. There we go. There we go. Okay. Might not even need the frame here, but it is just help kind of filling this out. Uh, actually, I can delete that. Do I need the frame for this little section? Yeah, I think I do want to have the frame, so it'll match the inside of this block. Perfect. It's probably what I should do. I should be. Wait, why did it? Why did the mirror all funky? Uh, 
You are not mirroring correctly. Maybe because of the size, that's probably why. There we go. Okay. All right, we are almost there. That is looking really stinking good, I feel like. Copy. And it actually does have a very slight separation in the middle, so I think I'm good with that. That... That looks like a freaking Star Destroyer frame right there. I like it. I freaking like it. Okay. Um... Now, the frames, if I get rid of frames, I'm just going to see what happens. Delete. Okay. I can actually put stuff in the middle of this now. Okay. Nice. Came back from punching my punching bag. You already did a good job with it. Damn. Thank you. All right. I'll leave, I'll leave some of these frames in here, though, because I think they're going to be pretty useful to build around, and I don't have to fill it up with too much other stuff. Okay. There we go. So, got the basic shape to it. I'm down to 100,000 titanium. Um, I need to use frames as much as possible just to not uh, run out of material. So, what I need to do is now have this all kind of just arch up to the middle. So, if I can do that... If I do titanium edge armor, that's like this. Yeah, oh, wow, that's like perfect. That's exactly what I want you to do. Man. Okay. So if I get iron frames in here. Um, like that. Uh, let's see here. This is almost exactly right. Um, I need the frame to go up to the edge here, so if I can do that. Actually, if I put the, if I do match block and put it against that. That's where sometimes it just does not let me change sizes. Okay, what if I get rid of this and do it like that? And there we go. That's what I need. Okay. This is looking this is very looking very much like what I want it to look like. This is awesome. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um and there's like layers on this thing, so I'm okay with this armor just not like uh doesn't like perfectly uh go across. So if I do this all the way across, this should like meet up. And I think this section is like done. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to run out of titanium for sure. Uh, why is that going? Okay, so we want to go a little bit higher, maybe. Okay, that is freaking cool, man. I need more titanium. <laughs> what if I make uh, pieces of this out of iron that I can eventually upgrade? That's probably what I should do. Okay. Okay. Um... So next one is more frame. If I do that, how's that look? A little too tall. Hmm. How am I going to make this work? Actually, if I... If I just have it start right where this thing is, that might work. Match block. Match. Uh, can I go against you? If I were to do that, and then, whoops. Yeah. T 
titanium edge armor. That's exactly what I want right there. So I need to get rid of this frame. Um, it is showing a little of the frame in there. Is that something I can do something about? If I were to move this back a little bit, maybe. Oh, wait, I said I wanted to do this out of uh, iron so I can save some materials. So iron edge armor. Iron edge armor. How can I cover up that? I could maybe put stuff on the front of it. Kind of like cargo or crew space if I can do that. Okay, iron framework there, iron edge armor there. That's actually one that I want to finish all the way across. So let's have this. Um, Okay, I think I have to do this. Match block. There, there we go. That should let me do it. And iron edge armor. Uh, crap, I think I need this to be one. Oh, I think you can merge blocks, right? Select blocks, drawing a frame. If I do that, merge blocks, merge blocks, and now we do iron edge armor and have it match shape. Beautiful, there we go, okay. All right, we are almost there. One more section, and this one's very close to being right anyway. Um. I don't really want that little split there. If I have any split, I would want it to be just at the edge. So can I have this frame actually meet in the middle? And then we do the same thing where we do this, this, and merge. And then can we, uh, is this gonna work? Well, okay, if we do this, I... It's all one block, I need to undo the merging. I need these to actually meet square in the middle if I can. If I do step one, will that do it? Still too much. Okay, go to the smallest thing here. Okay, very tiny, tiniest of things. Merch. There, I think that is merged, I think. Okay, back to the big guy, iron. Uh, match block. Beautiful. Okay. Now I just somehow need to make this, like, come down in the front. You know what? I think I kind of am okay with that. If I do some sort of... I haven't used corner blocks before. Let me try corner blocks. Iron corner armor. How does this work? <laughs> Can't put it on the corner of that guy. Uh, this corner, what does this look like? Uh, that looks weird. Is that what I'm looking for? Uh, maybe if I get the right orientation, that might actually be... If 
I put that there? What does that look like? Uh, that's almost what I want. Oh, if I swap those, I think that'll be what I want. If I do like this. Uh, no, it's not quite what I want. Although that looks not bad, actually. I would want... Actually, I kind of like that. That actually looks pretty darn cool. Okay, all right. How much resources do we have? 85,000 iron, 55,000 titanium. All right, we have basically the bottom, or the body. I, I got to fix the, the bottom now. Okay. Okay, somehow am I going to have enough to do all this stuff? I feel like no. Um, I think this might be something I might have to get more materials. I might have to redo the bottom. So I might just start with the top for now. Uh, integrity. I need one long, really long titanium integrity field generator. And this is going to be really expensive. Oh, I can see what already is covered, though, at least. Okay. That's pretty good. So if I no longer mirror, if I put one much smaller. In the middle here. Okay, down to 27,000 stuff. Okay, can I make it any smaller than that and still work? Let's see how much that covers. I'll pretty good chunk actually if I have just the outer edges that's not too bad if I move it back a little bit still doesn't need it so I need to go a little wider is what I need to do okay all right so that integrity field generator makes it so it's all one big ship okay wow this is looking pretty crazy Okay, um, so let's get, uh, what did I want in front of these little slots? I think I wanted actually cargo or uh, crew space. So if I go iron, iron crew quarters. Um, just for these little sections here. What is this? Yeah, it's been quiet for a while. It, I'm, I've been working my ass off to create an actual frickin' Star Destroyer. Just what I said I was gonna do, and it's coming together. Pretty pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. on this yeah this is actually kind of what this looks like here for the uh, for the thing There, okay. Okay. That looks, looks pretty good. A little blocky, but you know, um, I can actually fix that with some uh, actual curved armor stuff again. I'm using luck up my entire freaking. Uh, resource for all this one thing, man. It's crazy. Actually, I'm okay with that.
Yeah, it's a slightly blockier version, but it's kind of what that looks like on the uh, <laughs> uh, Star Destroyer. Uh, do I need to do something similar up here? Um, I might actually put some turret placements right here. I think that'll be perfect. So Iron Edge turret base. I want it to go like this and like this. I want it to, to be... Kind of like this. I wish I could just match that little thing in there, but match block does not quite work exactly there. If I go a smaller scale here. So that's pretty good right there. Okay, I think I'll go with that. So I'll put some turrets there. We'll be putting some turrets in here. This could actually... I could put a big torpedo thing in here too. Okay. The ship is crazy. The bottom, I think, is going to be not be done because I don't think I have enough resources. I'm going to have to wait till we get more resources, I think. All right, but I've covered up all of the frames that were showing except for, of course, the bottom frames which I might just need to cover that with something so that it doesn't get destroyed by dudes. So now we need, like, laser turrets. We need turrets everywhere on this thing. This thing needs 154 gigawatts of energy. Oh, I haven't made energy. Ah, that's the other thing I need. So I need... I made the shield batteries, but I did not make neonite generators. So... Oh my god. I don't think I'm going to be able to power this thing. But we know we're putting it on the bottom of this thing. Okay, so what if we put these in here? 154 gigawatts of energy. Oh, I think we use up all of our neonite. Whoops. As much neonite as we can. Um, and that would, that would be barely enough right there. And we don't have enough neonite. Okay, so what if I go like this? Let's go down to a size where it'll actually, we have enough for it. Okay, and that's the most we can do. And that gives us 72 gigawatts. All right. We're going to have to do uh, some uh, titanium generator right now. See if this will be enough. I haven't put, put uh, frickin, uh, oh, that's I can't do that. So I don't have enough titanium for that. David Rosenberg still in the lurk mode. It's cool, man. I still not enough energy. <laughs> All right. Well, I have like hardly any titanium or neonite left. So like I thought, this thing's a little big. Um, actually, if I convert some of what this is to in, some of this that's titanium into iron, I might be able to do this. So if I do titanium armor and convert transform blocks no not titanium uh, iron edge armor iron edge armor where are you there okay so I'm almost out of iron now but I have more titanium so if I can make a bigger generator Maybe I can at least make this thing have enough power to move. This is probably going to be one of those things that's like, kind of like in Star Wars, it's like in production for a while. While we wait for our miners to get us more resources. I can't believe I'm using up like all of my resources. 
Actually, I can totally believe it. 79. So I need... Okay, that barely gets us enough power. I don't like that placement, though. Can I have you go against the edge here? Like that. I would love for you to line up with things here. Okay, we'll go like that. It's fine. All right, there we go. Um, I'm going to need some more thrusters. I am so close to being out of... <laughs> all of my resources okay well if I put some guns on this thing I need 660 <laughs> engineers 300 mechanics 97 sergeants 8 commanders 24 lieutenants oh my god look how much crew I need for this ship oh god I wonder if there's anywhere that I can like can I save this Save design. Um, oh man, the, the preview looks amazing. So if I save this design, go get more resources, I can maybe figure out how many more resources I need to finish this. Because this looks incredible. I'm loving how this is looking. 666 six, six engineers really is a Sith ship. That's right. I'm going to have to go around and start collecting all of the engineers I can. Because <laughs> I think if I don't have enough engineers, it'll start taking damage, right? Oh, no, it's mechanics. So I need mechanics to not take damage. So how many mechanics do I need? 308 mechanics. That might be a little bit more doable. So if I were to, like, finish it like this, and then just fly around and get a bunch of mechanics so it doesn't take damage, maybe... Uh, I'm so afraid if I leave here, if it's going to, like, just destroy everything, if it's going to immediately blow up. But this looks just, I love the way this looks. All right, I'm not going to put any guns on it. I'm going to actually, I, I did. I saved, it's a save design now. It is. If I do that and then I could just load up my other design, that's what I could completely do right now if I want to. Um, and just hope we get more titanium. Maybe I need to make turn the scrap guy into a. Uh, okay, let me let me. Now that I've saved that, let me load back my scrappy do. Use design, and I get all of my money back. So if I do that, but then if I do this and load this, I get that back. That is, that's really cool. That's awesome. So, I feel like to finish this, I'll need probably another couple hundred thousand iron titanium and a little bit more neonite. So I think I'm gonna turn this guy. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finish this next time we play, 100%. That is our goal. Our entire goal. Our entire goal is because I want enough resources to put that thing together. So I'm going to turn this guy into a miner ship, and we're going to get back to mining in iron and titanium zone, I think. Uh, so you need, what do you need? You need engineers, and you need mining turrets. So, all right, so... Titanium R mining turret. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me see. I'm like, let me actually give you more. Crap. Okay. Whoa. I just lost some of my cargo. That's fine. I don't care about that. I actually didn't mean to do that, but. Engineer. Uh, so that did take out all the cargo that we had, but I, I checked before that I don't really care about that cargo. So um, I want to give you more mining turrets if I can. I need you to be able to jump. So where is this guy? 
Stall permanently. And then another turret thing. I need just unarmed turret. Okay. Yes, I know. All right, so that should let me get more turrets. And I just want to give you some more mining turrets here. Uh, that's not right. Make that even. Why do those guys look funky? That's fine. And I'll even give you one salvaging turret so that you can do both. Okay. Neonite salvaging turret A. You'd have to go on a Neonite thing, so I need to turn... Actually, if I just do um, a little Neonite turret base. Got copy paste. Um, actually, what I can do is I can just turn that into this. Transform that there. There we go. And then I can put the salvaging turret there. Beautiful. I can't do that because I don't have the turret slots. Okay. There. So I need a one slot mining turret. Two slots, two slots, two slots. Come on. Oh, these are freaking two slots here. Okay, there we go. Uh, you need an extra miner. Okay, crew. There we go. Okay, all right. We did it. We have a plan. So we need more resources. We need to mine more stuff. I want to send this guy to mine more, actually more titanium and stuff. So, um, where are some good... We need just places with lots of asteroids. 1,500 asteroids, 57. Yeah, I feel like if we have him go mine, like... 1,800 asteroids go there. Okay, so let me swap to another ship. Oh, man, that was a lot of work. I love designing these ships. It freaking takes forever, but I love it. So we're going to swap to... Switch to Rand Mark 1, or Rand Red Leader. Okay. And then we're going to have you, Scrappy-Doo Mark 1, who will one day be a giant Star Destroyer. Um, I want you to jump to here. Shift, Mine. Did you do it? Mine on loop. Okay, 437, 462. Is that this guy? Yes. So you are out of space. Let's actually swap to this guy. I want to see what this guy's got in his hold. This guy actually is going to have a bunch of resources that we need to... Um, Yeah, he's got 21,000 scrap neonite. He's got scrap trinium and scrap xanion. I need to actually process this stuff. So, um, do I have a better hyperspace thing? I think I need to uninstall one from my other ship to get this guy back. And give him more power. He is... You have scrapped a lot of stuff in this place and there's still more to scrap I feel like uh, yeah there's actually still a lot of stuff to scrap is there I need to install sensors on you if I can find a green sector what are they called scanner upgrade radar range Uh, 
I need to be able to see green objects or whatever. Radar. I have two. So if I do this, do you see any green or yellow things? I think it said that's a permanent thing only, right? Oh, no, I can see for seven spaces. Okay, so that is actually pretty good. And I can put this guy here to increase my range, I think, right? Yeah, that increases my range. So we're basically looking for some place out here where I can find stuff. If I can. All right, I got like 20 minutes. Man, I can't wait to finish my Star Destroyer next time we play this. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I have a scanner, right? So I should be able to see. There just really is nothing out here, I guess. All right, our own entire goal is to get all of this scrap processed and this guy needs a lot more power. So we can we can fix that real fast. Uh, let's see how much power you need. Not that much compared to what we were just were doing, actually. Neonite generator. Um. So if I do mirror X. What does that give me? Almost enough. How's that? There we go. That's plenty of power for now. Cool. Alrighty. So your cargo hold's completely full, right? Yes. 21,000 Neonite. And actually, that's... No, it turns into that exact number. It's not like a whole bunch more or anything like that, I don't think. Curious, has this guy started mining yet? you mining I'm actually hoping you're getting titanium over here that's what I really want um, I like how it's just meat <laughs> it's just it just says meat just I have random meat okay people need meat I don't know what to do with random stuff like that I wonder if I should just have dumped it but I kind of have been wanting to get this uh, guy to be able to do something. Oh crap. What is this pirates? Okay I have sensors right like these should show Is it scanners and not sensors to actually find Green things I mean, I'll put this in here, too. What is this? Valuable objects detected. Well, that's kind of cool. I, I wonder what objects it's detecting. How do I... Is it F9? I wonder what it detects. <laughs> I'm, I'm so curious now. What is so valuable? Um, I don't know. Do I have any big asteroid before we leave? I think I see one, actually. Let's go grab this. We all know that the meat is just delicious human. Probably. Delicious human that has been vented to the right perfection. Human ventilated to perfection. What a way to prepare human. Okay, interact, claim, interact, sell to the pirates. All right, <laughs> the only people I could sell. So apparently the only people that are here are pirates. Great. Uh, where's my exit? No wonder I can't find a place to refine resources. There's nothing but pirates out in the, in the outer rims. We all know there's only pirates out here. 
God, it's going to take forever to find anybody out here. I almost wonder if I need to take scanners off of one of my other guys to see if I can find something. Let me, while well, this guy's calculating, I'm going to jump to... Um, Okay, I want to have Mark Rand Mark 1 go there and patrol while looping. Scrappy do, you're scrapping. Right? Is that right? No more wreckages actually. Oh, okay. Um I wonder if there's wreckage here. I guess I could check here. Scrappy do Go there and salvage. I think there's stuff there. 183.312. Somebody, okay. God, there's too much stuff. Rand Mark 1, you just go there and patrol. And X Wing Leader, you're going to go here. And then I want to get. An equipment bay thing. Equipment bay. Equipment dock. I want you to go there. All right. Cargo 183.312. Who is that? Oh, this guy. Ah, oh, the one who is mining. Okay. Crap. Uh, okay, you need to go... Coal mine. Resource stock. Output. Yeah, you need to go here. So go there. Then refine ores. I wish you could tell them to sell and sell goods. Oh, okay. I'm probably going to have to do that myself, actually. Okay. All right. All right. Frickin' empty jumps everywhere. I keep hoping for some sort of green dot that I can see. But you can tell my jumping from the last time I did this is just, just nothing. Asteroids and nothing. Maybe if I had... No, I probably have to head directly in to have any chance of finding anything. Okay, so let me swap to this guy that I want to sell goods. Uh, oh, he should be doing that. Are you doing that? All right, nobody to fight here. Enter coordinates. And uh, you... I'm just going to control you because I feel like you're not doing what I'm telling you to do. Stop. Let me, let me right click, switch to craft. All right. You're not doing what I want you to do. Your cargo hold is full. Did I not? I thought I designed you after a guy with more cargo hold. It's like, I want to be a Star Destroyer, so I don't have enough cargo hold to be a Star Destroyer. What does your cargo look like? Oh, you did pick up most of that stuff again. All right. All right, you have ore. You have... Man, I want to... That's some stuff that I could actually sell a decent amount for. Oh, you don't have enough power? Is that what the issue is? Your power generation. Damn. I guess, uh, you know what? I think my mining things took a ton of power. So, uh, another Neonite generator. Mirror X. Does that really not get us more power? Is that Mirror X? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh,
Okay, there's enough. Give you a little extra there. Okay, there we go. Now you can go where I tell you to go, which is here. Oh, you already had the coordinates, damn it. Jump through this giant lava planet. I'm sure you'll be perfectly safe. How has the Star Destroyer gone? Uh, it's amazing. I'm not finishing it now because I need more resources. So I'm actually hoping to mine more titanium. And actually, while I wait, I can have you do some mining, can't I? Um, let's see here. Systems. So mining and salvaging. So two I don't need. So if I were to just go do this, will I get some titanium while I do this? Please don't tell me I'm out of space for titanium. Oh, I am out of space for getting cargo. So that's probably why all of my miners are actually full of cargo, probably. So if I dump plants, coal, wow, so many random things. Wow, I, have, I do have a lot of random stuff. So I'm not able to pick up any of this stuff. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, where the hell am I looking? I want to sell all this cargo. And I'm wondering... So people only buy things they actually are looking for, right? So I can't just sell any of this to anybody, I don't think. I Yeah, I could add more cargo space too. And I think I will when I send this guy to go mine again. I think that's what I will do. Oh, man, you're not good at stopping. Okay. Oh, wait. You're great at stopping. You just have to ram something. All right. So let's go refine our ores. Part of it is uh, my miners have been out so long, but they haven't actually been refining their ores. I might need to send them to do that, actually. Well, they're getting Neonite, so they're still getting stuff. All refine. Uh, actually, it's going to take a little time there. Hey, what's up, Dr. Heat? How are you doing? Beautiful. Okay. Can I sell you stuff? Oh, I can only sell mining stuff to you, of course. Um, so... I would need a trading thing to see who would trade what. Because this guy's cargo still has nanobots, plants, plastics, platinum. I don't think that guy would take platinum. I can actually put a trading thing on you real quick. Just to see if somebody will buy any of this stuff. So, like, will anybody buy my platinum or plastics? So equipment dock. Platinum. Nobody will buy platinum. So shipyard and equipment dock will buy that. So where's the equipment dock? Let's see here. What? How do I not have enough people again? Crew. I need a mechanic. What do you want to buy? Uh, I don't think anything I have. Does the ship need more engineers now because you added the power plants? Ah, yes, that's probably exactly what it is. Probably exactly. Paradox. Equipment dock. There's equipment dock. I can probably get an engineer there too. I heard you're looking to sell some stuff. Do you happen to have a trade module? I got lots of modules, yes. Uh... There's probably... I think there's advanced ones that let you trade without even docking too, but I don't... I have never used those, so I don't know exactly how those work. Oh, crap, all right, let's just dock right here where I'm pointed at here. Hopefully it's not on the other side. Are you on the other side of this little thing? Of course I would choose to run the one that's on the other side. Okay. 
dock it. Okay, I just need an engineer. I mean mechanic, which is good because that's what you have. I'm going to buy two. Now we're overpopulated. Great. Um, and then I can sell stuff to you. Trade. Sell. Um, wait, no. This is one. What is it? It's actual... I thought it was actual resources I could sell to you that you wanted. How do I find those things? I have plastic. Repair dock. Shipyard equipment dock. This is equipment dock, right? Are you the equipment dock? How do I sell trade goods? There it is. Okay. Three, sell, tools, one, sell. There we go. Uh, I don't have any tools to sell. Oh, okay. The ones that you interact with the station from the distance are the same that let mining flyers dump stuff in your ship. Mining flyers. Oh, that's a docking thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a yeah, docking thing. Okay. Um, freaking hell. All right, let's just add a crew quarters. I swear, everything I do make something else weird happen. Crew quarters. Just a very small one. There. There we go. Cool. Alright, is there any other stuff in my cargo hold that I can just sell here real fast? What do I have? I have a lot of spices. Anybody want spices? Nope. Alright, let's, um, let's, let's Beef up this guy's cargo hold, though, so I don't have to do that again. So, cargo hold. We'll do titanium, cargo hold. Cargo bay, I should say. Similar to what I did before. Just big chunks of cargo bay. Alright, there you go. You got more cargo hold. Cool. I'm almost out of time. What do I want to do with my last little bit of time? Okay, I want to continue getting this guy back home to sell his stuff. So, switch to this craft. Yes. And I should probably tell my other miners to go... Did I not, did I not do that? Switch to craft and sector. Scrappy do Mark three. Switch. I'm in that screen right there. Okay, so now I can tell these guys to get back to mining. You, Scrappy Doo, mine there. Uh, mine, loop, and I'm hoping you get titanium over there. And um, I want. I should actually check my cargo hold. Uh, all my other, all my other ships. Because if they're full of, they might be full of scrap from their mining that they need to actually refine. That will get me a bunch more resources. Because to finish my Death Star, I think I need about a hundred thousand more titanium and iron. Um, let's see here, uh, player menu. Uh, scrappy do. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of iron and neonite. Uh, scrappy do. Where's miner? Uh, the miners actually don't have that much. I thought they would have more. He's got some scrap iron, titanium, just from random ships and stuff. So the guy that I'm trying to get home right now is the one that's got all this extra stuff. And it's so long to get home from here. Well, I don't know that I'll go back to scavenging in that corner of the galaxy where the Project X's people are, because there's nothing else out there. I mean, maybe... Oh, crap. 
crap, are those pirates? Marauders, okay. There might be something further out if I had been brave enough to go the other direction. Because I know that they say they have people somewhere, but they have no way to jump or whatever. So maybe I could have actually found some place out there or something. And I might need to check my quest. I'm going to sell this to pirates real quick. Hey, pirates. I have this really nice rock you should look into. It's really, really nice. I highly recommend you come and bump into it like I'm about to. There you go. Yeah, collision's turned off, yes. This is my first time to play the game, and so it's easy difficulty and collision's turned off. Oh my god. More pirates. Oh, Jesus. Glad I have shields. I think I have shields. Yeah, I have shields. Everywhere I jump, there's pirates everywhere. Oh god, torpedo incoming. Okay, I think the torpedo blew up or something. Flying around with a miner just to get all this. I have like 20 or 30,000 something neonite on this ship in scrap. That's kind of what I'm trying to get him home to actually use it. So I have a mission, Operation Exodus. Y311, Y225. So I've already found this. I feel like some of these missions aren't updating correctly. Um, which is to be expected. It's an early access game, but I'm curious if I can, how to do the next part of the enemy of my enemy quest when I have the disruptor thing, but I've yet to find the guy I need to disrupt and take out. All missions should work properly. Well, when I received the thing to disrupt that one pirate dude, that the mission didn't update. I don't know if I messed it up somehow, but I did not see a way to find the guy. Maybe I maybe it doesn't update until you find the guy you're supposed to find or something. It doesn't update. I, it's a different mission. I, ah. So I need to probably go to... You know what? I know where there are a bunch of smugglers hideouts. So maybe if I go to smugglers hideouts, that might be where I get it. All right, we are getting iron. I was hoping to get titanium, but that's fine. Yeah, it was a smuggler's hideout. So that's probably... I need to probably return to a smuggler's hideout. We will have to do that next time. Ah, nice. We are getting titanium. Beautiful. Ship's cargo in 183.312 is full. 183.312. Isn't that the guy I just emptied out? Didn't I add more cargo space to you? Okay, well, if I tell you to go here, refine ores, then go here, and mine again. Will that work? That's the question. I just got a thousand titanium. Okay, that worked. Okay, cool. Wow. Apparently, I need to upgrade my miners. <laughs> I think up to the point where I actually need to make my miners have more cargo space and some other stuff. So. Wow, we're just so far from anywhere. Plastic manufacturer. Resource. Okay, so I need to get here. This is where I need to go. Bit of advice was going to be at some point and wasn't obvious to actually equip the disruptor before finding Votan. Yeah, I have a guy equipped with it. Or at least I did. Did I take it back off? I think I equipped it on my main ship. Uh, no, I don't have it equipped. Okay. So, okay. That's a good, that's a good point, though. Assuming you are off soon, I shall be off too and see you tomorrow, Rand. All right, Pie Boy, thanks for hanging out and always being a bro, man. 
Always hanging out, even when it's a might be a boring game. Okay. As soon as he gets safe, I'm gonna actually cue this guy's movements up so I don't have to keep doing this. If we do that new menu entry, we'll unlock when you speak with Botan. Cool. Very nice. Oh god. Getting attacked. But I got shield, so we should be fine, hopefully. I'll have to be doing that next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, probably the plan is going to be do the Botan quest, do the Botox quest, and finish my freaking Star Destroyer. I might do some just resource gathering over the weekend if I have time, just so that next time we play this, I can actually finish my... Uh, finish my... Um, Star Destroyer. That's, that's my main goal. So uh, let's swap to uh, swap to our main main guy, Red Leader. I'm on the leader. Swap to him, and then I'm gonna tell you to go here, 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 here. Here, 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 and once he gets here, I'm going to take him through the gate. So I'm going to tell him to salvage here, and he'll tell me that, hey, I'm full of resources, and I'll come and be able to fix that. All right. Um, let me just make sure all of my guys are working. You're mining. You guys are both mining. You're patrolling, and you're chilling. Uh, oh, you're patrolling is scrappy do scrapping. Okay. All right. We have we have our miners and people doing some stuff So we have a plan for next time really quickly what I want to show you all. well I probably want to found a completely new ship when I'm gonna create this uh, Star Destroyer or Maybe have my guy who's off in the middle of nowhere be turned into the Star Destroyer possibly but uh, I'm really excited to get this new ship the Star Destroyer we're going to have next time. It looks amazing. Uh, for those who didn't see, us when we were see it when we were designing, just a sneak peek. Here's the same design. It's right here. It looks epic. It's huge. It uses all of these resources. I used up basically all of them to get this much done. And I have the bottom to finish and put guns on it and make sure I have enough power and stuff. Oh, I cannot wait to finish that. We're going to finish that next time. That is the plan. It's going to look amazing and kick some ass and take some names. But, y'all, I'm going to head out, be done. i got to get to rehearsal. So thank you all so much for watching. Is anybody new to the stream, please hit the follow. Hope you have enjoyed the Avorion as much as I have. I know it's a super chill game and way less active chat and stuff as when I play FTL. But I'm really, really having a good time with this game. I still have to turn in turn it all into titanium. That's true. That's true. So we And that's, I mean, that is... 530,000 titanium, and about half of it was iron, I think, or a little less than half. But anyway, I'm going to head out. Thanks for hanging out, my friends. You all are amazing. I'll probably do some just resource gathering over the weekend if I have time in this game, just because I really can't wait to get that thing built. So thank you all for watching. You all have a great rest of your day. And if I don't see you, have a great weekend. Happy gaming. You all rock, and we'll see you next time, my friends. Later, all. Night, uh, Lego Pirate. We'll see you next time.